What's going on guys, Cal here with Jailbreak Central, and today I'm going to be going over the features of OS X Mavericks, which was released a couple days ago, and it was put out for free, so a lot of people have been downloading it, and I'm going to be showing you guys sort of a general overview of the new features that come with it. So first off, we have Finder, this has been a big overhaul of Finder. The first one is that you can actually add tags. So let's say you want to group uh, objects or some multiple files together so you can find them easily. If you select them, you can click on this button here, which is add tag tags. And now you can see I already have one here, YouTube. I can create a tag here and it puts it in this little tag bar down here and you can organize them however you want. I can just put them in red or anything I want really. And just to show you how it works, um, just real quick, I'll make the tag of all my YouTube videos. I'll create the tag YouTube, or actually I'll just make it U. And now these are all in the tag U. So now if you can see here, um, if I click on the tag, it shows up all the videos, and if I search for it, it will come up with all of the, um, the things that I've tagged in it. So it makes finding files really easy, and so you don't really have to mess around with a lot of folders. You can just tag everything, and then it's a lot easier to find it. You can also search for it in um, Spotlight, and you can find it that way as well. So the tags are a really cool feature that they've added. In addition to that, they've added a little sharing or an exporting thing. So if you click on a file, you can click on this and then you can drop it. Um, you can export it to messages, AirDrop, Vimeo, Facebook, a ton of other stuff depending on the type of file you click. So this is a video so I can um, upload it to Facebook, Vimeo. I can put it in AirDrop and I can send it as a text message. So it's a pretty cool feature and um, just something new about Finder. Now in addition to this, in Finder if you hold Command T, you can actually create multiple tabs. You can see here it's just like Safari. So let's say you wanna have um, you want to be looking at your normal files in this video, your YouTube videos, whatever, and then you want to check out something else in this file, you can go to your desktop. You can now do that, and you don't have to have multiple Finder windows, which kind of makes it cluttered. Apple took that away, and so now you just have this, uh, this simple Safari-style tabs, which is, uh, makes it a lot easier to find stuff. Now, a couple applica applications that they've added and updated is um, the first one's Calendar. And as you can see, Calendar it used to be kind of a leather-bound look, but now they've taken that away and they've made it look a lot more like iOS 7, which is kind of cool, it's a little bit sleeker. Um, but apart from that, not too much beside um, a design change, nothing too much about that. Um, now the next application that has been changed is iMovie. iMovie got a complete overhaul. It looks totally different and it's actually kind of confusing when you first open it up. Um, you can see here, it really does look different. They've laid everything out completely different. They have um, the clips are down here now. Um, whatever movie you're working on is down here, and these are your projects up here. You can flip that around, and there's a ton of different settings that are changed. I'm actually doing a separate video, so if you guys want to look at an in-depth review of the new iMovie, you can check that out on my channel um, when I upload that. Probably won't be up when you first see this, but check my channel. It might be there if you want to learn more about iMovie. So now that's iMovie. Too much to go through right now. Another application that they've added, um, well not added, but changed is um, iPhoto. iPhoto again, I'll just, it's pretty simple, it's just aesthetic that they've changed. Messages, however, is new, and this is the final version of Messages. They had a couple betas of it, but this is the final version. And this basically just incorporates um, your messages from your iPhone into your computer. So if you want to text someone from your computer, you can do so. It sends it from your email, and I'm not 100% sure if you can hook it up to your phone number, but for now, email works fine. So if you wanted to create a new message, you can type in the phone number or name of anyone in your contacts, and you can now basically text people from your computer. Now, next up, we have iBooks. iBooks has been added, and as you can imagine, it includes all the books that you've downloaded from the iBooks store, um, as well as anything else that you may have downloaded to it. It's pretty simple. It's just the iBooks app, but for the Mac. They're basically just incorporating a lot of iOS 7 stuff into OS X, Ma OS X Mavericks. Um, more onto that, they added Notification Center, you can see here. Notification Center is really cool because it shows you all your stuff. So you have a Do Not Disturb option. Let's say you want to, you have a bunch of incoming mail and messages that you don't want to see or you don't want to be bothered about. You can just turn that on and it won't notify you of anything. Also, um, it shows any music you've been playing. It shows emails, messages, any notifications that you have that's connected to your main computer. And I can't show you right now, but the way that they pop up is a little this little um, box right here, which makes it really useful if you're browsing the web or messing around with in some application. It, it's a really simple, um, nice way to kind of see what's up, see what new notification you're getting, and then act on that. You can either click on it and it'll redirect you to the page, um, depending on what the notification is. 
Um, for example, in uh, iTunes, when a new song comes on, it will actually tell you the new song in a little box up here, and you can either skip it or you can let it keep playing, and then the box will disappear. Just a little heads up on the notifications that uh, make it re look really cool and make it a little bit sleeker, basically enhance the experience when using it. Now, another application that's been added, another adding a ton of stuff, again, sort of going with that um, adding a bunch of iOS 7 apps, they've added Maps finally into, into your Mac. So this is really awesome. Um, so this is Mac. Uh, this is the Mac Maps, basically. You can zoom in here, and you can search for anything in your area. You can search for, I don't know, donut shop, whatever you want. And it'll come up here and you can get directions for it. But more importantly, you have this little button up here and you can actually send these map directions anywhere you want. You can send them in an email, message, you can send them to your, directly to your phone. So if you've plugged in your phone at any time, it'll, um, it'll hook that up and you can automatically send it there, which is awesome. So if you're looking at planning a trip, you can set it all out on your computer, which is a lot easier to use than the small iPhone, and then simply send the directions to your iPhone and use them on the road. So that's a pretty cool feature. Other than that, this is pretty much the same thing as uh, the maps in iOS 7 or your iPhone, nothing too different about it. But it's pretty cool nonetheless. You have the uh, this little feature here, hold on, let me zoom in. You have, of course, hybrid, satellite, and standard. I'm just gonna switch to hybrid real quick. And you have the 3D aspect, which is pretty cool. Um, this is an awful view of it. <laughs> but it's the same thing as the iPhone, basically. Um, it looks really cool. And it's another nice little feature. Now that's pretty much it for OS X Mavericks. There's a ton of other features, like small things, but these are the these are the big ones, the ones that you should know about, and the ones that really change it. Um, as a side update, I believe that they improved the battery life a little bit, so you don't have to worry about any of these apps draining your battery because it's actually been improved. And other than that, guys, that is OS X Mavericks in a nutshell. If you guys want to learn more about iMovie or iPhoto, you can find those videos on my channel once they go up. And other than that, hope you guys enjoyed the video, and see you guys later.